praise the lord is koyo welcomes you in this virtual holy mass before we begin the mass i request all of you to keep your phones in silent mode the main celebrant of today's mass is reverend andrew fisher as today our church celebrate the ascension of our lord jesus today is the 40th day after resurrection jesus and his disciple went to mount olives where jesus promised his followers that they would receive the holy spirit soon and he instructed them to remain in jerusalem until the spirit had come then jesus blessed them and as he gave them the blessing he ascended into heaven let us all pause for a moment and reflect on this day and prepare ourselves so that we may receive lord jesus during this holy mass let's make sign of the cross in the name of the father and, and of the son and of the holy spirit amen mass intentions special blessings and prayers for oliver kusumtigga and brain kumar ura as they both celebrate their birthday today special blessing and prayers for seema shalini lugun as she celebrated her birthday on 15th of may special blessings and prayers for mary and ashish family through whom a new life is being created special prayers for all people who are affected with covid especially we remember justin and his whole family ashish franklin madhusmita amyalata julia stigga premika rani tigga sushila tigga May Lord heal them and give them strength to fight it. Special prayers for all soul who lost their family to COVID. May their soul rest in peace. Let's all rise for entrance him. Come and go with me to my father's house. To my father's house. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. 
us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ, your Son, is our exaltation, and where the head is gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit, to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods, that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When, his, when he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, while he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. For Sam's, your response will be God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Your response God, God mounts, mounts his, his throne, throne to, to shouts, shouts of, of joy, a blare of trumpets, trumpets for, for the, the Lord. Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to the God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all earth. Your response? God, God mounts, mounts His, his throne, throne to shouts, shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for, for the Lord. Lord. God mounts His throne. Amid shouts of joy, the Lord, amid trumpet blasts, sing praise to God, sing praise 
Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. Your response? God, God mounts, mounts His, his throne, throne to shouts, shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Lord. For King of all earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nation. God sits upon His holy throne. Your response? God, God mounts His, his throne, throne to shouts, shouts of joy. joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. Second reading, a reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians, chapter one, verses seventeen to twenty-three. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation. as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened you may know what is the hope to which he has called you what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power god put this power to work in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named not only in this age but also in the age to come and he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god. god let's all rise for the acclamation The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, "Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages." They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven, and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them, and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Scripture tells us that on Easter Sunday, our Lord rose from the dead, and then spent forty days with his apostles. Today, the church celebrates that fortieth day, when Jesus and the apostles gathered at the Mount of Olives, overlooking the city of Jerusalem, and it was there before their eyes that Jesus, the risen Lord, ascended into the glory of heaven. But why did our Lord have to go? The resurrection was so wonderful, and the apostles were filled with joy. There are two reasons our Lord ascended into heaven. The first is because Jesus was not an earthly king. Jesus promised in the Scriptures His kingdom was not of this world. If Jesus remained on earth, He would be the greatest of earthly kings, and His citizenship would be like any other king, citizenship of a territory on earth. But Jesus is a heavenly king, and so he offers to us citizenship 
in his kingdom that knows no end. Citizenship in a kingdom that transcends nations and years and time. His kingdom is forever and eternal life. If we belong to Jesus, we have a king whose kingdom is not of this world, and we are citizens truly of the kingdom of heaven that lasts forever. And secondly, one of the most beautiful images in Scripture is that Jesus is the Good Shepherd. And as we hear Jesus himself say in John's Gospel, the shepherd leads the sheep. Jesus goes today to the glory of heaven. And where he is gone, we the flock want to follow. Jesus shows us the way to heaven. And now we must follow him. We must recognize his voice. And we, his flock, follow the good shepherd. He leads us to the green and verdant pastures of heaven that lasts forever. Where Jesus goes, we will follow. And he leads us to his Father's house, his Father's kingdom. Today we join the apostles at the Mount of Olives in turning our eyes upward to the glory of heaven to remember that we are in the world, but not of the world. And where Jesus, the good shepherd, is gone, we will follow and one day share in the glory of heaven forever and ever. Amen. Let's all rise for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the prayers of the faithful, your response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that by following the path chosen by the righteous may bring solace and consolation the poor and the suffering. Your response? Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Church, that empowered by the Spirit, we may faithfully give witness to the Gospel and continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and healing to those in need. Your response? Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who feel alone and isolated, that God will console them and let them experience God's presence in their homes and help others to connect with them. Your response? Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are ill, that God's healing spirit will fill them with peace, ease their pain, and restore them to wholeness. Your response? Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died during the conflicts between Israel and Palestine and also due to COVID-19 that they may share in the joys of eternal life. Your response? Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, just as your Son ascended to you, may our prayers rise up before your throne and may our requests be granted through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, Judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from the lowly state, but that we as members might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my my God. God. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you You take take away away the sins of the the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you you take take away the the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, God, you take take away the sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that that you should should enter under my roof, roof, but only only say the word and my soul soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive the Holy Communion now, let us remember our best moment and our first Holy Communion, when we had received the body and blood of Christ. Remembering that, let us partake in the spiritual communion by saying this prayer. O Immaculate Queen of Heaven and Earth, Mother of God, 
and mediator of every grace. I believe that your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, is truly, really, and substantially contained in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love Him above all things and long to receive Him in my heart, since now I cannot receive Him sacramentally. Be so good to place Him spiritually in my soul and never permit me to be separated from Him. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas together. I thank you, Lord, Almighty Father, and everlasting God, for having been pleased through no merit of mine, but of your great mercy alone, to feed me a sinner and your unworthy servant with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this holy communion may not be for my judgment and condemnation but for my pardon and salvation. Let this holy communion be to me an armor of faith and a shield of goodwill, a cleansing of all vices and a rooting out of all evil desires. May it increase love and patience, humility and obedience and all virtues. May it be a firm defense against the evil designs of all my visible and invisible enemies a perfect quieting of all the desires of soul and body. May this holy communion bring about a perfect union with you, the one true God, and at last enable me to reach eternal bliss when you will call me. I pray that you bring me a sinner to the indescribable feast where you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, are to your saints, true light, full blessedness, everlasting joy and perfect happiness to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll say a prayer for priests of St. Therese of Lisieux. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, 
which daily touch your sacred body keep unsullied their lips daily purple with your precious blood keep pure and unearthly their hearts sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion bless their labors with abundant fruit and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation here and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown amen let us pray almighty ever living god who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries grant we pray that christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with, with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen. go in peace thanks, thanks be to be god, god. This is the day this is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made we rich rejoice Thank you Father for this wonderful day that you have given to each one of us through this mass we have become a new person once again help us Lord that we may always be in your light and reflect thy light through our works for this we pray Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mother Mary, intercede for all of us that as Jesus, being a good shepherd, showed us the way to the Father, we, being a good sheep, we may also follow his path always for this we pray hail mary full of, full of grace, grace the, the lord, lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen we will say the memorare together remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly to thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee do i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Virgin Mary pray for us Saint Joseph pray for us Saint Faustina pray for us Saint Mother Teresa pray for us Saint John Paul II pray for us Saint Jose Maria Scriva pray for us Sacred Heart of Jesus I trust in thee Let's make sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen amen Thank you friends for joining us during this virtual holy mass. We wish you a happy feast. Have a blessed week ahead. Stay safe and take precautions. Thank you.